Hello everyone, my name is Philip Olaomi and I want to thank you for joining me today at Let's Talk About Worship. This is where we engage the scriptures to reveal God's mind about the subject of true and acceptable worship as recorded in John chapter 4 verse 23 to 24. And our goal is to be able to create a worship culture that is pleasing to the Father at all times. Our text today is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 20. And 21 the Bible said then Miriam the prophetess the sister of Aaron took the timbrel in her hand and all the women went out after her with timbrels and uh, uh, and with dances verse 21 says and Miriam answered them sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea I want you to please note this people of God Miriam at first did not sing but there was an attitude that she displayed that made all the women to join her. The Bible said all the women, not some of them. So worship is not all about your voice. It is more about your heart. It is more about your attitude. And it is your heart that gives direction to your attitude. And this is what motivated the people to join uh, Miriam. And this will also motivate the people to join you as well in your in your worship amen yeah so i pray god it's going to help i pray that god will continue to help us and uh, uh to be able to to be to be able to maintain the right attitude the right heart in worship amen all right yeah so today we want to do a recap of the exercises that we've done we've done quite a number of exercises uh to uh, uh ranging from isolation of muscles to um, uh, to our vocal cords, our intercostal muscles, um, you know, a diaphragm, a rib cage, and different ones. So we want to we want to focus on some of the exercises that we have done, and just to put it together so that we can um, we can we can have this as a recap. All right. So one of the first one, the one of the first exercises that we did that we've been concentrating on week after week is the fact that you need to be able to release yourself. You need to be able to move around. When you're moving around, you know, you're flexing some muscles and most of all these muscles are connected. You know, as you're singing, you're moving, you're moving around, moving your body around, you know, moving your hands, moving your head around. So that kind of, that helps, that, re that helps you to that helps you to uh, to release, as in to release, uh, you can release yourself and be free. And, and, and that way you are going to be ready to release the sound. And the second, that the second um, uh, one I would want to focus on is the ah sound. It's a sound that, we're all, we're, we're, that, we're, that you are familiar with if you've been following us in this um, in this um, exercises so releasing the ha sound and not only releasing the ha sound we also want to be able to engage the muscles in, in our head area you know our jaws um, our lungs our neck area and the only way we can do that is to be able to exercise those mu muscles and how do we exercise those muscles you know we can do things like you know something like this Now you don't want a situation where um, these muscles are um, they are they are they are, uh, they are stiffened up. No, you don't want that to happen. You want to exercise them. So right now we want to do the ha sound, and the ha sound we're going to be doing. We're also going to be incorporating the jaw exercises into it, and you move your neck around, you move your jaw around, so that can be well you can be able to uh, um, exercise those muscles. So let's do it. Yeah, so you move around, you do the exercises. Yes, yes, like that. So it helps you to be able to exercise the muscles in your jaw, in your jaw area. And the next one I want us to do is to also to bite your tongue and please this is not really biting this is just using your tongue to hold using your your teeth your teeth to hold your tongue down so that it does not move it's not uh, biting it please all right so it's uh, something like this and you can release the sound mm. Mm. 
right so why are we doing this the reason we're doing this is that initially when you did the ah sound there were you know you had we had some vibrations you know in the neck area but now when you hold your tongue down and you feel it hmm, you will notice that you will you you will feel more vibration in your tongue in your neck in your neck area so why is that the reason is because for you to be able to understand what i'm saying right now my vocal cord is working they are vibrating and my tongue is being positioned in some way to to let out the sound uh to let out sound in a way that you will be able to understand it so i'm using the muscle in my tongue and i'm also using the muscle and the root of the tongue in my vocal cords to be able to produce this sound so now if i am able to hold down my tongue with my teeth so that will mean that i am isolating the muscle in my tongue area and i want to focus i want to exercise the muscles around the vo the muscles around my vocal cord so that's why so the uh, uh the the when you do that exercise you will dis you will find out that the the vibration in your neck area will be more intense meaning that you are concentrating on those muscles you are exercising those muscles so let's do it again mm. Mm. right so that's how it goes so now the next one is we're going to do the ha sound again but this time you will this you will uh re will recall that um uh during one of during one of uh the sessions that we had we focused on the rib cage the intercostal muscles the diaphragm area so now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to we want to take a deep breath a deep breath while still biting our tongue and then releasing the sound why do we need to take a deep breath we need to take a deep breath because because of the fact that uh, we want to be able to expand our rib cage area we want to exercise it to be able to take in a lot of hair so that when we uh when we sing we can be able to sing extended notes we can be able to um, extend our notes we can be able so we don't have to uh, uh, break in between or we are losing breath or we are running out of breath um, no so we want to be able to exercise our, our rib cage area our diaphragm to be able to take in a lot of hair so this is how that goes you bite your tongue or first of all you're taking a deep breath and when I when I'm talking about taking a deep breath I'm taking about taking a big one not we don't want the small one and when you when you do that you will feel you will feel um, you will you you can feel it when you you can put your hands uh um you know under your handpit on your rib cage and when you take the breath you will see the big movement don't do the small one we want it to we want we want to, we want it to be well exercised to be able to take in um, um a lot of hair so we can be able to hold our notes and we don't run out of breath easily so let's do it your tongue release mm. a deep breath release mm. so that way you are exercising your vocal cords and the muscles in that area and also you are also taking in breath in your you're taking in breath in your rib cage and you are exercising your rib cage telling it to be able to take into holding more hair that than it than uh it's been it's used to hold to uh to hold so that's about that so let's do that again and um instead of releasing the sound we're going to release the sound in an ascending and descending order so let's do it taking a deep breath bite your tongue Release the sound. Alright, 
yeah so that's about that let's practice um let's practice that um as well and one of the other ones that we did was that we uh we did the ga, ga, ga sound i know you you recall that all right so what that is doing for us is that it is we are engaging the root of our tongue now when you're doing the ga, 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 ga sound it's different from ga, 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 ga Ga, 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 ga. you can see it sound it sounds uh, are, are different now so when you're doing the ga, ga, ga sound what's happening is that your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth and you're not doing it right because you're not going to feel anything but if you really want to engage the root of your tongue you need to separate you need to open your mouth wide and do the sound now as you're doing it you will feel you will feel it down there you will feel it down there you can feel it that yes that you are engaging you are you uh, uh, you're engaging the root of your tongue and um uh, you can take it to another level by doing the gas sound in ascending order and also in descending order as well so let's do it <laughs> all right yeah so let's do that over and over and another thing that we can also do is to do the how how all right so what are we doing here what we're doing is that we're taking we're going from the low notes and we're going into falsetto we're, we're, we're taking it high now it's very possible that when you're trying to do this you're you're experiencing some jammings you know in your uh the root of your tongue area something like ah uh, that is a jam so if you if you are experiencing something like this what you need to do is to do the gra sound that's going to exercise the root of your tongue so that when you are going from the low notes into the falsetto you will be fine you will be fine so keep doing it it's going to free it up it may be stuck because it's not used to doing things like that so and when you are able to do that proceed to the all right so that's um that's very interesting do that it will help you you'll be able to cross from the low note into falsetto seamlessly without any jammings in your in the uh, uh the root of um the root of your tongue so let's do that that's going to that's going to fix that issue if you have um if you have um, if you have that issue another one you can do is to go is to do um so far me redo and you can also modulate with that doing doing it doing the ha sound the reason we are doing a ha sound is that don't forget we are working on engaging the root of your tongue and exercising exercising that part we're working on doing that so when you do Ah, ah so you can you you notice that without having to bite your tongue your tongue is your tongue will be maintaining a stable position where it's not even moving at all so when the tongue is not moving then you are engaging another muscle that is the vocal cords to be able to produce that sound so that's why um it may seem to you you know that we like the ha sound yeah so Ah, and you can make it breathy. Ah, remember we talked about being um, making making a um, sound uh, breathy, and this is because the vocal cords. If you sing with your vocal cords without making it breathy, uh, your vocal cords will get tired easily, and you will lose your voice easily. And if we make it breathy, making it breathy is making hair to pass through it first before the sound comes. And why is this? This is because the vocal cords um, is very intelligent. 
it opens up when air is passing through. So we don't want to force sound to pass through it when air is not passing through it. And that is what makes your voice to crack. That's what makes you to lose your voice. So make it breathy. And you can take it higher, just modulate. And you can go on and on. You can engage the services of um, a keyboard is to be able to help you to navigate through the keys. You can go from semitone to semitone. You can go by semitone movement or you can do a full tone movement. Uh, do semitone first and you can go through the full tone uh, um, next. And that's going to help. That will help you. Or you can also uh, do um, uh, this exercise. Uh, do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Doing it in the ha sound. Taking a deep breath, and that is longer than so far me ha So taking a deeper breath, so that you can be able to run it at one stand, you know, one time like that. You can run it. So taking a deep breath, don't forget, always taking a deep breath, so you can be able to sing extended notes, and you don't run out of breath. You don't want to sing ha ha ha. No, we don't want that. We want to run it at once. So taking a deep breath. Yeah, that's that. So you can sing that also, modulate. So you can run that through as well. Work with the keyboardist. It will save you a whole lot. Um, it will save you a whole lot and it will help you to be able to recognize um, when you're moving semitone or when you're moving by a full by a full tone. So when you practice all this, you can pick up a song, one of your one of the songs you know that you really like, and you can sing it, and um, you will notice that um, a whole lot has changed. You know and um you, you you're gonna see a difference you'll see a big difference in what you in what um yeah a lot of difference and also a lot of improvement for me um this song came to mind amazing grace you know and um i just want to do it all right amazing grace how sweet the sand that saved a wretch like me yeah, I once was lost but now I am found I was blind but now I see. Yeah, so I intentionally uh, um, um, extended some notes, um, you know, to, to, I intentionally extended some notes and I sang some notes in a way that I intentionally engaged the root of my tongue and incorporated the exercises that we have done moving around moving your neck moving your body you sing along enjoy the feel enjoy the song you see when you are releasing sound like that you you're not just releasing sound you're not just releasing air you are re you're not just releasing the vibration which of course which is what causes the sound you know you are releasing you we want the full you we don't want the restricted you. We don't want the careful you. We don't want the rigid you. We don't want you know the 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 stiff you. 
We want the bold you, the open you. We want you to 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 willingly and freely share without holding back. And this is what makes your singing to 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 be enjoyable. It makes it to uh, um, you know you are able to engage with the people that you are leading in worship. And it also makes you to be spontaneous. It makes you to be charismatic. It makes you to be full of life. And it makes you to also connect with the people. When you are when you are um, releasing yourself or when you are being free, that it was what that is what it means, you know, to communicate and also to connect with people, to connect with the people that you're leading in worship. And this will help you to explore and be creative in that very moment. Yes, I understand that you need to know the lyrics, you know, knowing, knowing the lyrics, knowing the song and getting to, uh, uh, um, you know, getting to uh, getting your voice in the best shape is all of those are they are their own work that anyone can do. There are tons of worshippers out there, you know, tons of worshippers out there that they can sing the same note. But what great what makes a great worshipper is this is is to have a sense of freedom don't be too uptight when you're too uptight like that it makes it difficult for the holy spirit to be involved because you are already edging him out you're not making room for him that way so when you are afraid or you are trying to do it right or you are reacting to a bad note or you're sensing uh you're sensing the anticipation of a high note that you're about to that you're about to pitch and you're wondering whether you can you can do it or or no, or you are reacting to maybe something just happened around you that is distracting you, that at that time, you are not in the present moment. You can't be uh, uh, worshipping and you are judging the future or you are anticipating uh, uh, what you are anticipating the past. All of this takes a great chunk away from your creativity, your inspiration, your ability to even relate with other people. So let's note these changes and let's um, implement them for us to be to for us to have a better worship experience than to be able to worship and worship even you know deeper than we've been able to uh, than we've been that we've been doing it. So I want to thank you for uh, uh, for joining me uh, for joining me today. Today is going to be uh, the last session for the year 2021. We're going to be resuming January 8th. Uh, 2022 and it's going to be awesome it's going to be awesome we're going to be going through here um, ear training rhythm training music theory music training you know and the like so let's look forward to it it's going to be super interesting it is going to be very very um engaging as well so um please uh thank you again uh, for joining us uh, this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Philip Olaomi Music to be notified when we post more videos Philip, Philip Olaomi on YouTube and on Facebook Philip Olaomi Music on YouTube and on Facebook and uh, Philip Olaomi on Instagram and uh, and Twitter all right yeah so also like this video share this video let others be impacted the way you are uh, the way you've been and um, Thank you for joining us this week. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. I pray that God's hand will continue to be upon you. I pray that His blessings will continue to rest upon you. That God will make your worship to be more impactful. And I pray that um, your worship will open heavens and there will be miracles in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord God of heaven will be favorable towards you. He will help you in the precious name of Jesus. You will see the end of this year. Thank you for supporting us this year. Thank you for joining us this year. And we are we were so grateful. Uh, please send us, um, uh, send us, uh, if this has helped you in any way, uh, please send us, uh, uh, you can leave a note down, you can uh, put down a comment. Yes, we'll definitely respond to it. Thank you so very much. The Lord bless you. Amen.